In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us to the 13th episode as we move beautiful and long journey with Giselle Tarabai. Hi, Giselle. How are you today? Fine, Abuna. I'm glad to be with you. <laughs> me too. Me too. Always I see the light of the Lord in you. May the Lord use you always for his glory. So welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're so happy that always you're uh, watching our episodes. We uh, are encouraging you to share it so that others glorify the Lord and know more what they're going through in these days. Giselle, my beloved, uh, we have important question today. A lot are asking it. Is yoga just a sport and a chance to be alone with the oneself? Father, uh, unlike what people know, uh, it's not just a uh, sport. And it's uh, definitely a bad uh, opportunity to be alone uh, with oneself. Uh, unfortunately, yoga is uh, promoted as a physical sport that has nothing to do with religion. Uh, and that it helps people to get rid of uh, anxiety uh, by giving peace and physical health. Uh, in fact, uh, its image has been so polished that uh, its true dangers have been concealed until it has become a very popular and uh, profitable business that generates millions of dollars uh, for its owners. Uh, for example, in the, the United States, uh, there are more than 36 million Americans uh, practicing yoga, according to the Yoga Journal in 2016. Uh, compared to 20 million in uh, 2012. And the annual yoga market is more than $16 billion. So at first, uh, yoga was introduced to the United States and then it spread to the world in the middle of the last century by uh, Maharishi Yogi as a physical sport with uh, no Hindu roots. And it gained popularity thanks to the uh, Beatles uh, the spread of the hippie movement, uh, the sexual liberation movement, and the beginning of the emergence of the New Age uh, movement. Uh, it became uh, fashionable uh, to wear Hindu clothing, uh, to practice yoga, uh, transcendental uh, meditation, uh, and the like. Uh, but yoga is not just a relaxing uh, physical sport, as most people think, based on how it's promoted because uh, yoga has deep roots in the Hindu religion. In fact, the word yoga in Sanskrit, in origin, which means uh, reunification uh, to yog, aiming uh, to restore the bond between Atman, uh, which is the individual uh, principle, and Brahman, which is the divine principle. Of course, in the uh, Hindu uh, religion. And Brahman, uh, the divine principle, that is between the individual self and the divine absolute. They call it Purusha and Prakriti. Yoga teachings are contained in the Yoga Sutras and its author, uh, Patanjali, from the first century. It was first uh, mentioned in the Upanishad. Uh, the Upanishad is uh, the sacred Hindu books. And its meaning, uh, the meaning of yoga was not uh, like uh, it is today. Rather, it was a discipline in martial arts. Yoga has seven stages from Hatha Yoga to Raja Yoga. Each movement in it has its own meaning for the glorification of pagan deities. It may be associated with the repetition of the mantra which is the name of Hindu uh, deity. Oh, even uh, the Hatha Yoga, like what about it? Is it okay to practice it? 
even Hatha Yoga further because um, Hatha Yoga, they considered it merely a physical exercise, but it's really a first level of meditation that prepares the body for the spiritual experience promised at the uh, advanced uh, levels. Hatha uh, is a Sanskrit word which means strength. Ha means sun and ta means moon. Hatha yoga helps balance and unite these two forces. Traditionally, Hatha yoga offers uh, an integrated life philosophy and inner experience as a pathway to inner peace. In fact, uh, those who uh, study medicine know what is called uh, the gate control theory. In physiology and uh, neuromuscular uh, science, it studies how uh, nerves transmit pain and thus how to activate nerves uh, that do not transmit pain signals, which are called non-painful fibers. Satan knows these gates very well and uses them to snake through to us. For this reason, the yogi may feel better temporarily. Yoga uh, is one of the uh, six approaches of philosophies in Hinduism about awareness, liberation, and salvation, and they call it darshana. Every movement in it, starting from the sun salutation, in the beginning, and all of its uh, physical postures, uh, they call it the asanas, and the mantras, that they repeat and the rituals that they perform with puja and the like is a pagan ritual of multiple deities. So yoga is rather a way of thinking and living that directly affects the spiritual level and has its own beliefs and teachings as witnessed by the yogic teachers themselves, which are in contradiction with the Christian faith. Also, uh, we can link uh, yoga to the uh, Ayurvedic medicine uh, that teach human beings mystical bodies and hidden energy centers called chakras. Uh, there are seven chakras in addition to nadi channels through which energy infiltrates into the aura uh, of the head chakra uh, and it's activated to unite with cosmic energy uh, uh, called ki or uh, chi, or uh, prana, in order to restore the lost energy balance according to their claim. The yogi uh, tries to activate these inner centers, starting from the kundalini root chakra, which is like the uh, serpent erupt in itself and symbolizes the sexual energy and human being, all the way to the head chakra in order to complete communication of the impersonal cosmic energy and complete union with it. Noting here that there is no scientific evidence confirming the existence of these esoteric centers, nor energy channels and uh, the like. What is actually happening is that the demonic spirits infiltrate a person in the absence of personal awareness and disable all faculties uh, of the soul. All the supernatural phenomena, which they call CDs, such as um, uh, flying in the air, uh, walking in the fire, uh, being in the two places at the same time, etc. All these are satanic manifestation as a result of the intervention of demonic spirits, not from nature, nor from God. In this practice, the yogi is making a personal effort in order to ascend and unite himself with the deity to reach the level of samadhi or nirvana, as they call it. In fact, uh, the samadhi and the nirvana uh, are a state of unconsciousness or, or a state of emptiness and nothingness. And this is the opposite of what is in Christian meditation. Uh, in Christian meditation, uh, God's uh, grace is descending to man, and it is not man who ascends to it. The spirit blows wherever it pleases, and it is given to the poor, 
in spirit and on the pure in heart. Uh, and it does not come as a result of any human uh, effort or some methods. Uh, on the other hand, there is no doubt that yoga uh, is one of the practices in which we believe that we enjoy loneliness, silence, and peace with ourselves. But in reality, uh, we are not present in it, but rather absent and deprived of will. Because in it, all the faculties and powers of the soul are broken down and the senses are absent. Uh, it is really uh, a practice uh, against nature because we were created in order for our vital forces to be active and uh, interacting with ourselves and others and uh, with what is uh, tr transcendent, which means uh, God. Uh, we read uh, in stories and uh, news of yogi uh, that one of its teachers remained in a coma for several weeks while performing one of the yoga asanas and had it not been for his student who used to power some water and fluids into the his mouth every day, he would have died. And when he returned to consciousness, uh, he needed treatment in the hospital to recover fully after suffering from serious health problems as a result of his coma. So in the end, uh, I would like uh, to warn here, uh, it becomes clear uh, to us, Father, day after day, that there is a programmed plan to spread yoga technique and include them in the official educational curriculum. This has already started to happen in Europe, in the United States, uh, in many countries. Uh, it started to happen in some schools, institutes and nurseries as well in some hospitals and even in some churches under the forms of secularized meditation among the technique of psychology such as mindfulness, mind up for children, centering prayer and uh, the like. It's beautiful information but at the same time it's dangerous if we didn't be aware from it. A lot of details deserve of us today and we need to be aware of it. Parents, when you watch us, continue till the end and put the fear of the Lord in front of your eyes because you are responsible on the life of your children. You, just, you not just get them to school or get them to any place and leave them there. We need to be responsible to go after them and ask what they are taking. Also, as you see, Giselle mentioned a lot of levels, a lot of uh, yoga's kinds maybe sometimes they are doing it uh, like a sport just to practice it for that uh, let us uh, always be aware from this and may the lord be with you and bless you in the name of father son holy spirit amen